Hey everyone, welcome to how to calculate with Mr. Kumar. In this video, I'll show you how to convert between milligrams, grams and kilograms. So firstly, let's look at what they are. So milligram is um, often represented as mg, gram as g and kilogram as kg. And they're all units of measure and they are used to measure mass or you can also say they're used to measure weight for example a kilogram of flour right so often milligrams grams and kilograms um they're used to measure weight okay weight of items weight of people uh, you know weight weight of uh, a rice of a uh, bag of rice things like that so let's talk about the relationship between milligrams grams and kilograms so milligrams is the smallest unit of measure compared to these three um units of measure and kilogram is the largest unit of measure now the relationship they have is that 1000 milligrams make one gram and 1000 gram makes one kilogram okay so if you needed to convert milligrams to grams you need to divide milligrams by 1000 because milligrams is a smaller unit of measure compared to grams now if you had grams and you wanted to convert it to kilograms you need to divide grams by 1000 in order to get your measurement in kilograms okay again because grams is a smaller unit of measure compared to kilograms now if you had to go back from kilograms to say grams that's when you multiply by 1000 because one kilogram makes up 1000 gram and one uh, gram makes 1000 milligrams so if you had to go back you multiply by 1000 to get to grams and then from grams to milligrams it's again multiplied by 1000 so that's basically the relationship these three units of measurement have now let's look at milligrams and grams so milligrams if you if you have a weight in milligrams you need to convert it to grams you need to divide by 1000 okay and if the measurement you have is in grams and you need to convert it to milligrams you have to go back that means you need to multiply by 1000 again i'll say this again 1000 milligrams makes one gram and one gram of course makes 1000 milligrams and that's why we divide and multiply by the number 1000 let's do an example how many grams are there in 2000 milligrams okay so you're given the milligrams 2000 mg what do you need to do to convert 2000 milligrams to grams you need to divide it by 1000 why because 1000 milligrams makes one gram okay and milligram is a smaller unit of measure so you divide milligrams by 1000 to get to grams and your answer will be two grams okay another example how many milligrams this time right are there in 2.2 grams so you've been given the weight in grams you need to convert it to milligrams what do you do you just de multiply by 1000 okay because grams is a larger unit of measure and you are going back to milligrams so you multiply by 1000 okay so 2.2 multiplied by 1000 and that's pretty much your answer okay that's 2200 milligrams now let's look at grams and kilograms so if you if you have a weight in grams and you needed to convert it to kilograms again you divide by 1000 because 1000 grams makes one kilogram and if you had your measurement in kilograms and you needed to convert it to grams you multiply by 1000 that's going back okay because kilograms is a larger unit of measure compared to grams okay so let's do an example how many kilograms are there in 3000 grams okay so the grams is given as 3000 and you need to convert it to kilograms what do you do you divide it by 1000 so 3000 divided by 1000 is 3 so 3000 grams equals 3 kilograms okay remember 1000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram so 2000 will be 2 kilograms 3000 is 3 kilograms divided by 1000 now in this example how many grams are there in two kilograms okay so this question is asking about how many grams are there in two kilograms so two kilograms multiplied by 1000 you're going back to grams so two kilograms multiplied by 1000 will give you 2000 grams okay so that will be your answer so as you might have noticed it's all about multiplying and divided uh, dividing by 1000 okay always by 1000 
Now there's some questions here. Number one, if beta y is 25 kilograms, how much is this in grams? Number two, how many milligrams are there in 3.5 grams? And number three, convert 5.7 kilograms to grams. And number four, convert 250 milligrams to grams. And number five, a bag of rice weighs six kilograms. How much is this in milligrams? Okay, so I'll give you a few seconds to try and answer this question. If you need more time, you can pause the video and we'll continue, okay? Uh, but these questions are very simple and um, these are more to just test that you understand the concept and what you need to do of course um in your exams in your tests you get harder questions but the basic concept of converting is still the same okay so number one if beta weighs 25 kilograms how much is this in grams so that's simple right you need to um convert kilograms to grams what do you do you multiply by 1000 so 25 kilograms multiply by 1000 will give you answer in grams so 25 multiplied by 1000 gives you 25000 grams because 1 kilogram makes 1000 grams so 25 kilograms will make up 25000 grams number 2 how many milligrams are there in 3.5 grams okay so you need to find milligrams so 3.5 milligrams multiplied by 1000 to get 2 milligrams so 3.5 times 1000 is 3000 500 milligrams okay again it's just multiplying by 1000 because grams is a larger unit of measure compared to milligrams you multiply by 1000 so you get a larger answer as well okay that's another hint you can use convert 5.7 kilograms to grams okay so straight away you should know that your answer should be larger than 5.7 because you're going from a higher unit of measure to a lower unit of measure so but your answer will become from smaller to higher okay so 5.7 kilograms multiplied by 1000 to get to grams 5.7 multiplied by 1000 is 5700 grams and number four convert 250 milligrams to grams so this is you're going from milligrams to grams milligrams is smaller grams is higher so your answer will become higher now it's gonna become smaller yes it's it's gonna become smaller okay so 250 milligrams divided by 1000 okay you need to divide by 1000 and your answer will be 0 0.250 grams and question number six a bag of rice weighs six kilograms how much is this in milligrams okay so six kilograms and you're going back to grams and then going back to milligrams so your answer will be higher of course right because milligrams is a lower unit of measure so it's always opposite okay if the question then the weight is higher and you need to convert um, it, it's always going to be opposite if you're going uh, to the lower unit of measure okay so six kilograms multiplied by 1000 to get to grams first okay so six multiplied by 1000 is 6000 grams now once you're at 6000 grams you again multiply by 1000 to get to milligrams so 6000 multiplied by 1000 will give you six million milligrams okay and that's pretty much it that's the answer so remember the relationship remember the number 1000 okay why 1000 because 1000 milligrams makes one gram and 1000 grams make one kilogram if you're going from milligram to gram to kilogram it's always divide 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 okay going from a smaller unit of measure to a larger unit of measure it's always divide 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 and when you're going from a larger unit of measure, for example, kilogram to gram and then milligram, it's always multiply, multiply, multiply. And it's always by the number 1000. OK, it can't be any other number because 1000 milligrams is equal to one gram and 1000 grams is equal to one kilogram. And that cannot be changed. OK, that remains constant. The number 1000 remains constant. All you need to remember is whether you need to divide or multiply. OK. And that's pretty much it. That's how you convert between milligrams, grams, and kilograms. Um, and I would suggest if um, you have understood the concept, try and do more questions, right? Just to test whether you have understood the concept or not. If not, you can watch the video again just to try and understand. But it's as simple as that. If you can remember this diagram, you'll be fine, okay? Thank you very much.